Now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. And by Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. I am Jordan Strack. Tonight we are excited to bring the show on the road to Frost Calnow Stadium here in Tiffin. Our show tonight gonna look a little different. We are down to just eight teams playing across each division in Ohio. We also have four playoff games from up in the state of Michigan. But let's get started with our game of the week here in Division 3. Columbian welcoming in Holy Name. Columbian eliminated by them just 363 days ago. And tonight, looking for some revenge. Columbian would come out and strike first in this one. Late first quarter, Logan Beeson from 26 yards out finds LJ Reeves in the end zone. It's 7-0 tip in Columbian. Same score here late second quarter. Huge play for the Tornadoes. Seth Belleville steps in front of a pass, takes it the other way. That is a pick six. It's 14-0 Columbian at the half. Coming to the second half now, trying to add to that lead. Beeston throwing to the end zone, but this pass is picked off. Holy name would have some life in this ball game, but this finish was just crazy. Watch this thing. Columbia was up 17 to seven under two minutes ago. You just have to punt it away, but it's blocked in holy name. Scoops and scores, it's a 17-14 game. Oh no. So ensuing onside kick, Bryce Rogo, the freshman, recovers it for the Tornadoes and for the first time in school history, Tiffin Columbian is headed to the state final four. Just everything, man. Every, everything since June, July, showing up. We didn't even know if we are gonna have a season. And now to come out here and make history is just, it's, a, it's amazing. It's, it's truly the most fun I've ever had in my life. It means everything, you know. It wasn't just us, it was the seniors from last year. They set, they set the path for us and I can't thank them enough. Obviously, a tremendous amount of pride, um, you know, being an alumni and, uh, and coming back and really living a dream, you know, getting a coach um, where I watched so many games, got to play so many games, um, and, you know, doing something since 1901 here, playing football at Tiffin Columbia on just about this dang here stadium, not exactly this turf, but um, in the surroundings since 1940 something at the stadium. So um, there have been a lot of great teams, a lot of great alumni, and um, I know they're out there cheering for us, and we punched our ticket and uh, represented them when we did it tonight. All right, Division 7 now. What a matchup here. Hopewell Loudon, 8 0, number 7 in Ohio. Lima Central Catholic, number 4 in Ohio. Rough start for Hopewell Loudon. Already down 21 0 here, but they would get on the board late first quarter. Ashton Boer drops the back to pass, finds Reed Jury. Slips a tackle. He strolls into the end zone with the Chieftains' first points of the ball game. But Hopewell Loudon would struggle to stop that Lima Central Catholic ground game. The T Birds without their number one running back, but it didn't matter. Rossi Moore's name was all over the stat sheet tonight. This one of his handful of touchdowns. Touchdown. And then Lima CC's defense getting in on the action as well, picking this pass off. A 55-7 lead at the half, a running clock in the second half. Hopewell Loudon falls 62 to 20. Christy Kopanis has more from Lima. Jordan, this one got out of hand fast, and before Hopewell Loudon could stop the bleeding, it was too late. But the team is taking positives out of this. They got to the regional final. They had an incredible season, and these seniors left their mark on this program. I'm so proud of our team. Um, you know, we, we haven't been in this situation you know, in, in a long time here, and you know, th this group to just to get a season in, and you know, we won a league championship. We, we played for a regional championship, and you know, we just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. You know, that's. Honestly, that's one of the best Division 7 teams I've ever seen. For our seniors, you know, from where they've come the last two years to, to get to this point, and, um, you know, they, they love being around each other, they like each other, and, you know, we, we, get, you know, we got to play a few extra weeks, and, you know, that, that's, that's a big benefit for them. Um, you know, this is a great stage, a great environment, and, and something these kids will remember the rest of their life. So Hopewell Loudon's incredible run ends here tonight in the regional final, but this team very proud of the season that they put together. Reporting from Lima tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. All right, Christy, thanks so much. It is time for our first break. When we come back, we are heading up to the state of Michigan. It is the second week of the playoffs north of the border. We've got Blissfield, Ida, Sand Creek, Monroe SMCC, and Whiteford all on the docket. That is coming up next on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Ford Friday. 